So now you just want to check and see that you don't have any rub marks or smudge marks. That's come out really well. So that dial can never, you can never go down to zero. So this bike is always moving, even if it's standing still. some lacquer, which we're just going to seal the top of. Looks good. So today I'm going to try and get these fins on and then finish the profile off if I can. So fingers crossed. That's a heat sink and uh, it's got some decent thickness. I have tried on some areas here which seem to weld okay. It is pretty fiddly. It's literally just these aluminium welding rods and I bought a new, a new little uh, arc welder which I'm running at about 140 amps seems to be good enough to weld these sort of wall thicknesses but uh, it might change so don't take it for granted that that's what I'm using right, so I got that position now and it has to be fairly accurate because unlike mild steel you can't really re-bend it once you've welded it so we'll try that first one now Tack it on there and tack it on that side. Okay, so far so good. I'm gonna just put the grinder over that, clean all this mess up so we can get the bond a little better. But this is really quite tricky to weld. to do for now. I mean you won't really notice it once this is built up or profile. The last of the ribs to go in. Um, it's definitely not perfect.
Here's one of the challenges we have with this motorcycle is all these modifications to the lights, some homemade contacts there, plugs that don't fit. Ah, there we go. That's on high beam. Oh yes, low beam. That is all working. So now the starter switch is in, the, um, the trick for me is to find out how this works because it was never in position on the bike that I received. So this wasn't here, this is a replacement part. Now the only way to do this is by going through this manual here. <laughs> 